In this video, we're going to factor, um, and we're going to look at some situations that require uh, some substitution. And so you're going to see what I mean here in a minute. So if we look at this, here's our first polynomial that we're going to factor. But if you notice, this isn't the same as the polynomials that we normally factor, meaning our first term is to the fourth power and our next term is to the second power. Usually, um, it would be something like 6x squared minus 13x minus 5. But it's like this is twice the power that's supposed to be, and this is twice the power that's supposed to be. So what we do here is we just do a little thing called, um, you can substitute whatever variable you want, but I call it u-substitution. And so what we're going to say is we're just going to decide, we're going to say let u equal z squared. Okay? So for example, if you had z to the fourth power, z to the fourth power, well, that's the same thing as z squared times z squared. Well, z squared is u and z squared is u. So therefore, we could rewrite our z to the fourth as a u squared. So this can now become 6u squared minus 13u minus 5. And so what we're going to do is we, so we use our little u substitution to rewrite this as a quadratic that we know how to factor. And then we're just going to factor this, and then we'll kind of do a little bit of adjustment at the very end. So let's go ahead and factor from here on out. So I'm going to break up my middle term here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm kind of, I'll kind of jump over here. But I'm going to look for two numbers that when I add them, they give me negative 13u. But if I take the same two numbers and multiply them, they give me negative 30u squared. Let's see, that looks like that would be negative 10u and negative, oh wait, no, it's not negative 10 and negative 3. Because they have to multiply to give me a negative 30. So one's going to be positive and one's going to be negative. Ah, it even takes me a minute sometimes. That's going to be negative 15u and 2u. I almost messed that up. So now I'm going to take that middle term and rewrite as negative 15u plus 2u. And I'm going to copy down my 6u squared and my minus 5. That allows us to group and look for our GCF. So in the first two terms, it looks like my GCF is going to be 3u, leaving us with 2u minus 5. In my second two terms, our GCF, there's not really GCF, so I always treat it like a 1. And that leaves us with 2u minus 5 in parentheses. I'm going to now factor out that GCF of 2u minus 5. And that leaves us with a second factor of 3u plus 1. But here's where we now got to be careful. We can't stop here, because if you remember, we, we factored this in terms of u, but we don't really care about it in terms of u. We said u is the same thing as z squared. So if I come back down here, that means this is really, in its fact form, that's going to be 2 z squared minus 5. And the second factor is going to be 3 z squared plus 1. So don't forget to, you know, if, I, if I come down here, so we're going to re-substitute. r u equals z squared. So just kind of recap what we did. We've got a polynomial with doesn't look, follow the form of our normal quadratics. So we just did a little u substitution and rewrote it as a quadratic and factored it in that form. And then at the end we just realized, oh, well, we know that u is the same thing as z squared, so I substitute the u back out of the problem, and these are your factors. Here we've got another example. And so what you might notice here is um, if you can take a guess on how to do this one, go ahead and pause the video and try it for yourself. But what I see right here is this still takes the form of a quadratic, but now we're just going to say, I'm just going to say, let's let u equal 3x plus 2. Because now this polynomial could become 3u squared plus 5u minus 2. So I took, oops, I took 3x plus 2 and substituted the u in for it there and there. And now we can just factor as is. So I'm going to come over here. We're going to look for um, 
two numbers that add to give me the 5u. But the same two numbers should multiply to give me negative 6u squared. That looks like it is going to be a, um, <clears throat> let's see, a negative 1u and a positive 6u, I believe. And so now if I come over here and rewrite the, that middle term as negative 1u and positive 6u, we can then factor by grouping. So I'm looking at my first two terms. What looks in common to me is a u. And then we're left with 3u minus 1. And then my second two terms, what's in common looks like a 2. And then that leaves us with 3u minus 1. So now... I'm going to factor out my GCF of 3u minus 1, and that leaves me with the second factor of u plus 2. But now that we're here, we have to remember, we have to resubstitute. I cannot stop and leave my answer in this form. We want to rewrite it back in its original form. So if I'm going to do that, um, let's see, that's going to be 3, but instead of u, I'm going to write 3x plus 2 minus 1. And this entire thing is my first factor, okay? I'm going to do the same thing for my second factor. That's going to be 3x plus 2 plus 2. This 2 is there, and I just substituted out the, the u for another 3x plus 2. And we can simplify these. Um, if I want to simplify these, let's see, that would be 9x plus 6 minus 1 if I distribute that 3 in. And then my second factor would be 3x plus 4. And I can actually combine those like terms right there and make take that 6 minus 1 and just turn that into a 5. So this would be my factored form of this polynomial. Um, if I was teaching, I would probably take accept this as a valid answer just because it shows me you know what you're doing. But uh, this is another valid answer. Last example. So right here, you can see it follows the same structure. So we're just going to say... Let u equal a plus 2b. So whenever I rewrite this, we have 2u squared. Plus just a, a u. And then minus 1. And so as I'm looking here, we're going to look for two values that when I add them together, they give me a 1u. But if I multiply, let me give myself a little more space here. I'm making myself a little crowded. If I take these two numbers and add them, I get 1u, but if I take them and multiply them, I get negative 2u squared. And those numbers should be um, 2u and negative 1u, I believe. And so we're going to rewrite 2u, negative 1u, bring down my minus 1, got my 2u squared, now let's factor out our GCF. For the sake of time, I'm not going to be color coded. So we're going to have 2u, u plus 1, minus 1, u plus 1. And then I'm going to take my GCF and factor it out to the front, u plus 1 times 2u minus 1. But here's where we got to be careful. We got to remember that these u's are not what we care about. We wrote our whole entire polynomial in terms of u, but we're going to rewrite it in terms of a and b. So I'm going to substitute out that u. I'm going to replace it with a plus 2b plus 1, and that's going to be my first factor. And then my second factor is going to be 2, a plus 2b, so I substitute out the u, minus 1. Now it looks like this one on the left is already simplified, so I can just copy it down, a plus 2b plus 1. But this factor on the right can be simplified a little bit. That can be written as 2a plus 4b minus 1. And this would be your final answer for the factored form of that polynomial.